Hey, what's up guys? Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade the 6.15.00 baseband. This is that baseband that has the GPS issues and good news, even if you're unlocked this will downgrade the baseband to an unlockable baseband. So right now you have 6.15.00, no GPS. This tutorial will downgrade it to 5.13.04 so it is unlockable with ultra snow and your GPS will work so this is a really great video and I'm sorry for the delay I tested this out twice just to make sure it is safe and everything went out uh, okay so this is the third time I'm making this video okay so you need two files one is red snow 0.9.14 beta 1 and the other is the 5.1.1 IPSW for your device or it doesn't have to be 5.1.1. I'd recommend though that you update it. Even if you update it and you have a 3G, it'll say uh, error 1015. And if you have a 3GS, it'll say searching dot 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 and no service in this top left corner. And you'll be stuck on the activation screen. But it honestly doesn't matter because when you follow the instructions, it'll work. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to assume that you have the 6.15.00 baseband and you're jailbroken. So you're using your phone just normally. Make sure you do have the 6.15.00 baseband though because this could mess up your device if you don't. So go to settings, general, and about. Oops, I accidentally clicked on software update. Settings, general, about, scroll down, and 6.15.00. So once you see that, you're good to go. Have your iPhone plugged into your computer and then download these two files. The links to both of these are in the video description. Alright, so once you have them downloaded, open up Red Snow, then go to this Extras tab. Here, let me zoom in for you. Go to where it says Select IPSW and find the IPSW for your device. I assume that you updated to the newest version, so we'll just select that. It'll say the following build has successfully been identified, you know, successfully identified right here. Just hit OK, and then if you have a 3GS, it's going to ask you if you have a new boot ROM or old boot ROM. If you have a 3GS 8GB, meaning you look at the back and it just says iPhone, it doesn't have a GB, hit yes. Uh, if you have a 16 or 32GB, then read the instructions and figure that out. Alright, so once that's done, go down to where it says back and then hit jailbreak. Sorry, my camera's blocking the view. Okay, it says already jailbroken. I forgot to mention this, if you are already jailbroken, the trick to get around this is unplug your phone, then click jailbreak, and then plug it back in. So we're just going to kind of trick it. Don't worry, it's safe, I'll show you what to do. Since we're already jailbroken, uncheck install Cydia. If you just restored and you're stuck on that activation screen, make sure to take out a SIM card. So even if you are fixed, take out the SIM card, just be safe. Take out your SIM card and then follow this. Now to downgrade the baseband, it's pretty straightforward. Just click downgrade from iPad baseband, check it, and that's all you need. If you need to jailbreak, you're going to hit install Cydia, but since I already have it, I don't need to do that. So hit next, and then it's going to tell you to turn off your phone, otherwise it's not going to let you hit next. And it'll show you the instructions for DFU mode. I'll show you how to do it right here since it's a lot easier. So plug in your iPhone, power it off. Let me zoom out a little bit. And now that it's off, you could go and click next and you can follow the instructions. Or you could just stay on the screen and I'll show you what to do. Press the power button and when you see the apple, press both the home and the power button. And it's going to power off. Keep holding both buttons until the apple turns off 5 seconds afterwards. And then you're going to release the power button but keep holding the home button. So it's been about 5 seconds. I'm going to release the power button, continue holding the home button. When this screen moves, I can let go. See, so it changed. I'm going to let go, set my phone aside, leave it alone, and it's going to start the process. This does take quite some time. It took about 10 to 15 minutes each time. I think it has to do with your computer, you know, your RAM and all that. Since I'm running off a solid state drive and 8 gigs of RAM, it shouldn't take too long for me. It still took like 15 minutes, but... It also might depend on the phone itself. Also your internet connection, so don't worry if it takes too long. It's doing its thing. So now that red snow is done, you don't have to do anything anymore. Just watch your phone. 
set it aside and don't mess with it too much. You don't want to mess up this uh, process. Okay, it's going to go through all these scripts and then you're going to see the pineapple thing. Give it like, you know, 10-15 minutes from here. I'll be back once everything is done and I'll show you what to do next to have your phone unlocked. Even if you don't need it unlocked, go ahead and get it unlocked. All you need to do is install one thing which I'm going to show you. And you can use any SIM card you want. So here's the pineapple thing. I'm going to be back once this is gone. Okay, the process is now done and your phone is going to power itself back on. You're free to unplug your phone now that everything is done, it's powering itself on. Just unplug it and let me zoom out. It's going to take a minute to come on because you just installed a bunch of different packages and the baseband changed, so give it a minute. It, it won't take that long every other time you power it on, but the first time it will. It's going to take like 2-3 minutes. Okay, the phone is now on. Let's just slide to unlock. Go to settings, general, about, and check the new baseband. So now you see it's 5.13.04. So this is a really great baseband. Now the GPS works. To finish this off, just go into Cydia. Give it a minute, you know, select user, done. And it's going to install all these packages. And once it installs everything, go down to the search tab and search for Ultra Snow. I'll show you how to spell it since it's a little unusual. Ultra S N and then the O is actually a zero. Oops, right there is zero and then a W. So that's how you spell it. Ultra Snow. Give it a minute once it downloads the packages, it'll show up. Okay, now that the packages are installed, you're gonna see Ultra Snow right here. Just click on it and then hit install. See right here it says Compatible baseband's 5.13.04. So that's good. Just hit install and there's one more thing you have to do if you need it unlocked. If you don't need it unlocked, you're done. This was just a great extra step. But for those of you guys who want your phone unlocked again, so you can use a foreign SIM card, you know, let's say this phone is locked to AT&T uh, and I need to use T-Mobile, I'll show you this last step. Slide to unlock. Go to settings and then tap on general and then go to network and turn off 3G you just have to do that when you're unlocked all the time I'm sure you remember and now your phone is officially unlocked you're on the 5.13 baseband you can update in iTunes and it won't give you this stupid error uh, but just note this if you do update I don't know about iOS, iOS 6 right now but um, it might change your baseband to something which you can't downgrade, so just be careful. Please don't update until one of us, you know, like iPhone people tell you when to update. Because if you do, you could make your iPhone permanently locked to AT&T or whatever carrier it was locked to. Anyways, I hope you guys liked watching this tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, just let me know in the comment section below. Send me a private message. Whatever you want. Thank you.